Showtime in Iowa. The candidates facing the phalanx of Fox moderators, but the focus from the very start was on the guy who wasn't there. Let's address the elephant not in the room tonight. <laughs> Let me say, I'm a maniac, and everyone on this stage is stupid, fat, and ugly. Now that we've gotten the Donald Trump portion out of the way. <laughs> the debate did provide a glimpse of what the race might have been without the Trump juggernaut. We should have a path to legal status for the 12 million people that are here illegally. Jeb Bush able to articulate an immigration policy that doesn't involve building a wall with Mexico. It means come out from the shadows, pay a fine, earn legal status by working. Had Trump shown up, the audience would have heard his pro-surveillance shtick. But Rand Paul was his replacement and thinks very differently about these things. Collection of your phone data, the invasion of your privacy did not stop one terrorist attack. I don't think you have to give up your liberty for a false sense of security. Three miles across town in Trump world, there was less substance, but they were hitting all the high notes. So normally Trump's venues are huge, but this auditorium is really tiny, but this was never about size, this is about timing. The leading candidate took the stage soon after the debate began, mocking Fox for apparent last-minute pleas for him to take part. And they've wanted me there, and they said, how about now? They called a few minutes ago, how about now? Can you come over? I said, hasn't it already started? He sold his boycott of the debate and the feud with Fox as a matter of principle. You have to stick up for your rights. When you're treated badly, you have to stick up for your rights. Do you think Trump has done the right thing by not going to the debate? There's what, seven of them there? And they're all competing against one guy. He's already won. In cold political terms, there was a real advantage to Trump's stunt. The last four questions have been Rand, please attack Ted. Marco, please attack Ted. Chris, the other candidates Ted. rounded on please Ted Cruz, Ted. pummeling Donald Trump's closest challenger. The truth is, Ted, throughout this campaign, you've been willing to say or do anything in order to get votes. Now you want to trump Trump on immigration. And look at all the cameras, like the Academy Awards. This is like the Academy Awards. Of course, far more viewers last night watched Fox than watched Donald Trump, but it was the second lowest rated Republican debate so far. He's, he's changed all the rules in American politics, just turned conventional wisdom on its head. Among those closely watching, Mark McKinnon, chief campaign strategist for the last Republican president, George Bush. So this guy's throwing the middle finger at Washington and people say, hell yeah, as unconventional as he is. I think they tried everything else, so why not try this? Like the song that plays Trump off stage says, you can't always get what you want, but Donald Trump wants America to believe he's got what they need.